Bali, day one. Here we go. Alright guys, so first stop, San Francisco. And at San Francisco, are you excited? Yeah. What are we hey, doing here? What are we doing here? here? We're trying to make our connecting place. <laughs> we're, so we're kind of running late to be honest. We're running a little bit late. We literally have like 40 minutes till our thing takes off. Maybe like 30 minutes. And we're in the complete opposite terminal. So we're running for it right now. Um it's gonna be a I have no idea well, let's on. let's figure it out then. <laughs> Here we go. All right, guys. So we barely made it. We made it. Yeah, it was really awesome. I think we sat down. It was like 10:30, um, and the flight was take off at 10:45. First day in Bali. Bali. Here we go. 7 07 a.m. We just got up at 6 and uh, we're gonna go to breakfast right now because everything opens up at 7, I believe. So the pool opens up at 7, restaurant opens up at 7, um, and we have no idea really where we're at because last night we were kind of getting in when it was getting dark. We're gonna check it out now. We haven't had a chance to really see anything yet except for the city as we're driving through we had about an hour and a half drive to get out here and now we're finally here like the longest travel day of my entire life just slept for a good solid eight hours let's go check it out you ready this was ali's choice it's actually your choice what it's your choice well we were deciding between this one and the remember was it the hotel ubud or whatever you chose this one Little waterfall. That's a waterfall. It's a waterfall. I honestly love waking up early on vacation. I love waking up early on trips and being able to like do a whole bunch of stuff early in the morning, like have like super long days. So I think we're gonna be able to beat the jet lag a little bit here. Where? The frog? No way. Look at him. He's so small. Is that a baby then? Or is it? You think so? That guy's tiny. Hey, tiny. You. Hey, tiny. Are you like me? <laughs> hey, tiny. <laughs> Say hi, I'm tiny. Hi, I'm tiny. <laughs> <laughs> We're 12 hours ahead, so right now it's 9 a.m., but back on the East Coast where we left from, the East Coast of the U.S., it's 9 p.m. right now, so it's 100% like the opposite side of the world, which is crazy. So I was texting my mom and it's 9 p.m. out there, they're getting ready for bed. But it is first thing in the morning, 9 a.m. here. We have the pool all to ourselves. It's beautiful. So Bali day one, here we go. Day one in Bali, uh, wrapping up here pretty soon. It's 5.23 p.m. We first came down to the pool and to get breakfast, it was like 7 a.m. So it was crazy. It's been a long day so far. We did a lot of things. We went into the city too. Didn't film anything, but we went to the city. Oh, we filmed a little bit on your, on your camera, I think, right? Barely. Yeah, barely, but we went into the town. It's like a 25 minute drive, but 
really cool, crazy. A lot of commotion, a lot of things going on. I actually bought a few cutoffs, some tanks that they had, some Bali cutoffs, and then I also got sold on some Balinesian shorts, <laughs> which I got sold on, and it was actually kind of expensive, uh, more than I thought, so. Gotta be careful next time, so I don't spend all my money. But, whew, day one in Bali. Allie, what are we doing today? Go to the gym. Yeah, so we are heading straight over to the gym, which there's not a lot of gyms real close by over here. So we're kind of like uh, a little bit away from the actual city itself. It's mostly just resorts and some little shops and like um, stuff over here. So there's like not a whole lot going on like city-wise. It's pretty remote, but we're uh, we just got into the the grab right now so we had a grab driver pick us up which basically is like the same thing as like uber or lyft over in the states but that's what they use over in like indonesia southeast asia so just got picked up yeah we're gonna go check this place out and uh just get a little workout in this morning maybe like an hour hour and a half knock it out i have chest and shoulders today haven't trained in probably oh man like three days now because traveling took like two days we didn't train yesterday so ready All right, so it's been hard to find the 20 kg place. So we found two of them so far. I'm gonna grab hopefully like two more off the leg press over there, but they don't have too many of them. So I'm gonna try and do, it's not gonna be 315. It'll probably be like three, uh, 309, I, I assume. With the 20 kg place, it's only 44 pounds, but I'm hoping the bar is 20 kg. It feels kind of light so far, but we're working with what we got. And uh, here we go. This should be close to 225, probably like 221. I think that bar is light. I honestly think that bar is like less than 20 kg. That's okay, we'll put three plates on there. See how it goes. I think we got like a top single or a top set of two today. So let's get it done. Ah, oh, it's so janky to re-rack it. They only have two slots on this. This one, which is too low. This one, which is like a whole foot higher. So like either you have to be like LeBron with like six foot long arms to get it up here or it's like too low over your face i'm sweating man i'm sweating real bad so on the bar right now it looks like 345 um with the three plates the 10 and the like five pound plate basically uh, but kgs wise it should be about 155 kgs if that bar is 20 kg so calculating out we're looking at 341 pounds here we have a pause three count pause here so we're gonna hold it on our chest for three three seconds man i'm sweating so much but I'm gonna hold this for three seconds and up. So here we go. Let's try this thing out. I need to take this real quick. Dry scooping the BPN flight. So here we go. This is the blue raspberry flavor. I have a good amount of energy today. We haven't trained in a few days, so I'm kind of I'm kind of hyper for this, low key. We do a little dry scooper. Here we go. Not a full scoop. I like got three quarter. not built for this weather from Ohio it's cold up in Ohio it's not 90 degrees and humid this bro look at my shorts it's my second exercise
All right, so that just about wraps up the quick workout today. Super hot and sweaty. Obviously no AC in here. I feel like the only one sweating. I'm just not used to this at all anymore. Like 90 degrees, humid heat, and just like in a warehouse gym. It was like that a little bit in Houston over the summer, but haven't had that in a long time. I'm sweating like crazy. I need some water, some protein, electrolytes, everything. And uh, cool little gym though. Really happy we decided to come here. $33 for a day pass, three US dollars. So you really can't beat that. But crazy sweaty. I feel like the similar feeling to like honestly, like a hot summer, like two a day practice in football, where you're just like, you just sweat the entire time. You finally finish and all you want is like a, a Gatorade or something like that. So I feel like right now, but this is as, as real as it gets. Cool little gym in the middle of like Ubud, Bali, Indonesia. This is the view. So that wraps it up. I'm gonna be feeling it pretty soon here. I sweat more than I have in a workout in a long time. So wrap that up. Let's go back to the hotel. Um, gotta get our stuff together. We're actually checking out of the hotel today. Getting a quick massage, which I've never got in my entire life before. You know, Balinese massage. Me and Ali. Ali is feeling it right now. Right? Feeling it. So let's head back. We're gonna book a grab driver, head back, get some water, and recover. I'm soaked. Oh, disgusting. That's the front entrance of the gym right there. Super cool. Honestly, really, really like that. So, oh yeah. Your hands are black. <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Welcome to Bali. Welcome to Bali. <laughs> Give us a tour. All right, so you come in here, and this is like our little villa. So um, it's super small, quaint, easy, everything you need. We have the bed, couch, Wi-Fi works pretty well so far. Um, they provided us with smoothies as soon as we got in here. <laughs> yeah, they're like watermelon, so yeah, watermelon lime, something else. honey, yeah. waters. Yeah. Pretty good. Really pretty good. So. That, there's breakfast in the morning too. They're supposed mm -hmm. to have really good pancakes here. Yeah. The other place like good pancakes too, honestly. Yes, Bali's known for its pancakes. Bali has very good pancakes if you guys ever come out here. So anyways, yeah, we got some waters, um, little TV. So if we had like a little Roku or something like that, or a fire stick, we could like watch yeah, some on places. How much, Ali? I think it was only like $50 a night. So 50, not yeah. bad, honestly, for what we get. Yeah, you don't get like a, a private pool or anything like that, but like nobody was even at the pool. The yeah, pool was pretty, pretty nice. Private. We're about to go head to like a local restaurant and get some food. I'm starving. I only ate breakfast so far and I think it's like four o'clock. Look at this. Never thought you'd see me sitting crisscross applesauce <laughs> over here. But uh, you know, we're in Bali, we're trying new thing. Really cool, called uh, Cafe Pomegranate. So we might be coming back here in the next couple days. So we're staying two nights at this place as well. It's good. We're going a little more sugar though. All right, so we are cracking open a Balinese beer. So what they have is called a bintang here. Um, I got a shirt that says bintang, but this is like the primary beer that they have in Bali. So we're gonna crack open two of these. I got these. They're like two dollars a piece if you buy them one by one. So I mean, pretty much similar price to what you pay in America, realistically. So yeah, I'm gonna crack these open, try them out, see how it compares to a good old Bud Light. Nice. Nice, boom. A little bintang for you. Thank you. A little. Cheers. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Look at that one. I honestly don't know where we go. I'm just like walking towards it. He's literally just chilling. Why is he sitting like that? 
<laughs> We're at the monkey forest. Here we go. There's the monkeys all in the road on the way here. We haven't gotten to the forest yet. A mom and a baby. Yeah. That's so cute. She said the monkeys, they'll grab our water if we're like holding it. So uh, she said put it in your bag or we're just gonna finish it right now. <laughs> you struggle in college or what? <laughs> if if you get bit, then you're supposed to get a rabies shot because like Suck. there's a good chance you got rabies. <laughs> <laughs> there's exactly two. He's tapping Look at this in the back. I like low key want one to go on me so you can take a picture. Dang, he got ripped. No way. It's like me, me and Ali like, <laughs> like going at it. Welcome to the boot monkey forest. As you come down this way, you follow me. You will see baby monkey. You will see mama monkey. You see dada monkey. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like going to the zoo, but like the animals are like out of the cages. Can make a you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, he knows how to drink it. He, look at that picture. <laughs> yeah, monkey took the selfie for me. Can you see? Can you see? Yeah, they can see. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Crazy. He literally knew how to unwrap the wrapper and grab it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the first episode in. Bali, the first YouTube video. Basically, that was just like the first four days, and it's been a wild, wild adventure so far. Uh, we've had some really good workouts. Just worked out with a guy named Nicolas Lee out here yesterday. That will be going up very shortly. Um, but we got a lot of content coming soon. Sorry for the delay on this one. I had so much content to sort through, uh, so much stuff filmed. So, uh, more stuff coming. I have a full day of eating in Bali, I have a day in the life in Bali coming, uh, and we're heading somewhere new tomorrow actually, which is gonna be really, really cool. So lots of videos coming with Bali content. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next ones coming up. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.